Okay, YouTube family and friends. <clears throat> I'm give give YouTube a little bit of time to uh, send the message out to everybody. I want to thank everybody for tuning in on this Halloween night that we have here. I'm gonna go ahead and drop the link to the uh, to Applies Bootcamp um, online to Teachable. If you go there um, to that link, you can actually uh, register for uh, Applies Bootcamp online. That's where we're gonna have our courses and everything gonna be there. Um, I'm gonna drop the actual dry vent cleaning course. That's gonna be coming out Sunday night. Uh, we have a uh, we have a class this weekend coming up, a Plans Boot Camp live event this weekend and an online course for the dry vent cleaning. It's going to be dropped on Sunday night. So on Sunday night, you'll be able to go there and um, actually purchase that uh, course. The course right now, the price of it, we have it at $225. Uh, that's going to be the price to get the dry vent cleaning course. And uh, tonight is going to be a little quick broadcast because, like I say, what I'm doing now, um, I'm actually renovating the building, trying to get that done. Uh, uh, I'm also finishing up the course. <laughs> I got a couple more edits I need to put in there, uh, uh, a couple more links. And then I, I'm also, I got to get ready for the for the truck. Uh, our channel uh, uh, car will be probably arriving here tomorrow morning or tomorrow afternoon. So I got to coordinate that with the transportation company that's dropping it off. And what I wanted to do, come here to you tonight, just let you know that course will be available on Sunday night. It's going to be $225. And I'm just going to tell you what you're going to get in that actual course. Um, in that course on the dryer vent cleaning, um, of course, you're going to get how you're going to get a, how to actually clean the dryer vent. Um, and you can you can find that just about anywhere, how to clean the dryer vent. Um, but you're also going to get the material list, uh, everything that you need to go buy. Uh, to actually uh, to start the dry vent cleaning dry vent cleaning business, and um, what I'm trying to do, I'm trying to keep everything, the materials that you need to buy, and also uh, also the cost of the course. I'm going to keep it under five hundred dollars, so you can have your working business and making money for less than five hundred dollars that you have to have total put into it. Um, that won't include you going to get your LLC and all that registered. I want you to go out and make some money on this one first. And then, um, then get it registered. So, um, in the course, it'll tell you um, after the first couple of ones you do, then you need to go ahead and get registered and uh, get your LLC and get you some general liability insurance. And uh, this right here is to set you up to be able to come to uh, Applies Bootcamp Live or come to the apply, uh, go to Applies Bootcamp online and actually uh, purchase the um, the Applies Bootcamp if you want to do that. You might just do driving cleaning and decide you want to stay there. But uh, if you want to uh, actually start off there and still uh, learn how to uh, make, some, uh, make some money to actually get the money that you need to come out here or just get some money, if you can get all the money to come to the appliance boot camp, this will be a good business. You can start to actually start putting some um, money in your pocket and putting food on the table and stuff. Um, and it, it's a very simple business. You're going to get how to market. I'm going to show you how to go out and market and who you need to be marketing it to. Um, your appliance, uh, your driving, cleaning business. Um, you uh, and that marketing is going to include uh, the flyer. You get the flyer uh, download. Um, you get sample uh, how to where to go buy your bandit signs um, and how to how to actually fill out your bandit signs. Uh, tell you, you know if you know uh, how you can actually use an email list. You won't have an email list starting off, but you um, it'll tell you how you can actually. Uh, find companies um, that actually kind of do what you do. You can find uh, somebody who might have a plumbing company, someone might have an electrical company that have an email list of his actual uh, clients. And you can actually go to them and actually uh, maybe get their email list to actually uh, send the email blast out to them. Uh, or somebody that has a newsletter. Uh, I used to do an email uh, newsletter where I would actually email uh, once a month to my actual clients uh, little uh, little uh, appliance tips, and inside there, I would actually feature other companies that, and their offers. And you can you can get in somebody email um, who does like a monthly email, so it'd be stuff like that in there. Um, also, what you would get, uh, 
you will get uh, how to charge, what you need to be charging for the actual service. And the most important thing you're going to get to know is uh, know your limits. Uh, so just like the appliance repair, uh, driving uh, cleaning has different levels into it. And you're coming in as a beginner, um, uh, beginner level. So you're going to be doing what we call getting the low hanging fruit. So uh, you're going to know your limits. It's a lot. It's, uh, it's different stages in driving it. You're not going to be going out trying to do no commercial cleaning right now. Um, you don't have the manpower to do it. Um, and you and this is your first business and stuff, and you, you're just learning how to do it. Um, we're not going commercial. Um, we're not going to be going out replacing any dryer vents. So if you get somebody that, uh, that has an older house or they got problems where the dryer vent is actually broken, or it's just totally clogged up with uh, with uh, with stuff where your your system won't go through it. We're not going to be going in there cutting the walls, going on top of the roofs. We're not going to be doing any of that. We're going to get a low hanging fruit. We're not going to show you what houses you need to go to to avoid that. So um, that's the stuff you're going to be doing, and this is going to be taught just like the appliance boot camp. It's going to be taught as, as a self employed uh, uh, business. It's not going to be taught as you how to actually scale it up. Uh, I'm putting together a course on how to scale up and, 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 and expand your business. And the same thing you would do in a appliance business and scale up, you would do the same thing in your driving business. So uh, with that, I'm just teaching you how to how to get out here, start making some money and how to actually be self-employed. And um, then from there, you actually, uh, if you want to scale it up, you can go to the, uh, you, can, you can actually then uh, later on scale your business up. But uh, I just wanted to come here tonight and let you know that that will be dropping Sunday night. And um, I'm going to read some of the comments. And like I say, uh, right now, we're working hard. Uh, if you've seen the videos, we're working hard to actually get this, uh, um, get, this, get this new building fixed up. And we're out there um, knocking it out. We're working second shift. So I got to get back out there for another hour. Uh, so this is going to be short and sweet. So I'm going to go to the comments real quick. 89 Dr. Funk, what's up, Mike? Hey, how you doing? How you doing, 89 Dr. Funk? All right. And I'll put the link to Teachable. If you go there and sign up, um, like I say, Sunday night is going to be coming out and the cost of it is going to be $225. And, um, and you, should be able to, you should be able to get your business up and running for less than $500 and going out there and making some money. All right. Uh, Kevin Roberts, what's up, Mike, and ABC family? Hey, how you doing, Kevin? Uh, Greg B., what's up, Mike? Hey, how you doing, Greg? Uh, we still gonna get the drive in cleaning in the class this weekend. Yeah, in the class and appliance boot camp, you get the drive in cleaning. Uh, we, we 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 do that. So you'll get that here if you come to the appliance boot camp. That's included in the appliance boot camp. All right. Um, w Pearson 04. Hey, checking in from Jenkinsville, South Carolina. Hey, how you doing? 89 Dr. Funk. Hey, Mike, what phone service you use for your business? I use uh Vocalocity. Uh, that's that's who I that's who I use. They've been they they've been bought and sold several times, so uh, uh, that's what it is. Vocalocity, and they they they're pretty good. They allow me to actually uh, uh, be able to have uh, park calls. They, they have call waiting. When you call my business line, it doesn't you don't hear the phone ring. You actually hear uh, um, a message play where I can market to you um, while you're online. You know, and it has press one for accounting, two the schedule service, all that stuff. All right, Mike T. Hey, how you doing? All right, Mike T. Do you have to prove how long you work on service calls to home warranty companies in order to get in order to charge them? No, you don't. You don't have to uh, prove how long you work. You tell them how how long you work. Because what happens? Uh, uh, you're a what's call. Uh, as you get better um, at doing appliance repair, you're not going to be there that long. So you, what you're doing, you're basing upon what the average technician that doesn't have any in any. Uh, any, in, in not ex, uh, ex, not an expert technician, but the average technician, how long would it take them? As you get better at doing your job, it shouldn't take you long. Uh, and because it's not going to take you as long, you shouldn't get penalized. That's how you get raises and, uh, and when you uh, own your own business. You get more efficient, you get a raise. So, uh, no, nah, you don't have to prove how long you've been there. You tell them how, uh, how long it's going to take, and, uh, and you tell them what you're going to charge per hour. That's it. And uh, that's, that's the other thing, too. We got uh we got we got we got we got to talk about that. Uh, uh, I'm still having a lot of people, uh, especially people now that's actually out here working um, and started their own business. Uh, corporate corporate ladder. Um, how can I say this? Coming from corporate America and going into the marketplace, um, 
we having a, a hard transition of people making that of people making that transition. Um, I know uh, I, I'm, I'm, I'm I'm talking to a lot of people trying to figure out how 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 we how we get this thing figured out because what's happened uh, for thirty years or more, people have beat have beaten people out of um, being able to actually uh, I'm saying actually think for themselves. Not I'm not saying people could not uh, are, 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 are not able to learn, and this is not a put down or anything. But the honest the truth is, right now uh, people. Uh, uh, and it's across the board where people are not able to think anymore. And what I'm trying to do, I'm trying to show people and encourage them um, what, how to think again. And when I say how to think again, um, of what's happened uh, in the school system and, and your, on your jobs, um, you, you're, you're not supposed to think and, and go outside the uh, box. If you do something and without getting permission or doing something, uh, you could get fired, or you 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 could get recommended. You, you could you could you get uh, I guess you get a bad grade in school or something. So everything that you've done, you wanted to you didn't want you want to do everything to make sure that you didn't have any accountability for. It. You wanted to be able to cover uh, what we call CYA. Uh, you wanted to cover yourself, so if something went bad, you could point to somebody else and say, "Oh, um, they told me to do it." Uh, as an entrepreneur. Uh, you no longer can afford that luxury. Now, as an entrepreneur, it's crazy. As a business owner and an entrepreneur, um, I get if, if anything goes wrong, if everything in the world goes wrong, it's my fault. Uh, it's my problem. It's my fault if something goes wrong because I'm the business owner. I'm the entrepreneur. I'm the leader. So if anything goes wrong, it's my fault. Now, if everything goes right and we win, guess what? It's not because of me. It's because of other people. You don't get you don't get no credit for anything. The only thing you get credit for is something goes bad. If something goes good, you have to put you have to let everybody else know it was because of someone else that that done it. Uh, it, it wasn't because of you. And, and that's that's the life you're in now. Where when you're gonna you're gonna take the hit. So it, in corporate America and school, you try to see why a didn't want to be the person taking the hit. Now as a business owner and as an entrepreneur, you gotta stay, you gotta step up and take the bullet. And then when it's time to get praise, you got to step to the back and say, hey, I don't deserve any praise. It's everybody else who deserves the praise, not me. And that's the life you chose when you decide you want to uh, start your own business. Now, what happens in, in corporate America, if you see CYA and step aside and shun responsibility and keep your head down and, and, and dodge and dodge all the, uh, all the landmines, guess what? You 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 get uh you get uh, promoted and you 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 can uh you can move up the corporate ladder, but on the other hand, as a uh, as a business owner um, in the marketplace, uh, you can't do that. Uh, you're gonna have to be the ones out here taking the hits. Uh, and, and the thing about moving up and and um and um when you're in the marketplace, there's it, it, no corporate ladder to climb. If you want to take on everything. Uh, if you want to take on everything, if I, I if I decided right now I want to have uh, I want to do uh, four thousand um, four thousand calls for a warranty company, um, I could call that warranty company, and guess what? They ain't gonna ask no questions or anything. They, I say I want to take on four thousand calls. Give me four thousand calls for this year coming up. Guess what they're gonna do? They're gonna give me four thousand calls. Because what happened? The marketplace fills you out. If you think you can handle it, they're gonna give it to you. It ain't gonna it ain't gonna be none of that. Uh, you need to work your way up and stuff. No, if you decide that you want to take it, they're going to give it to you. And if you're not if you're not able to take it and to handle it, they're going to let the marketplace uh, uh, run you out. So what happens now, uh, coming from corporate America, in corporate America, you can watch my call. You can get a certificate. You can get a degree. You can have seniority. You can get all of that. And then you can go say, well, I got uh, I got a degree and I got uh, I got seniority and I got a certificate. You need to pay me. I need to have this position because that's what you say this position requires. It doesn't matter if I don't have the knowledge or anything. I got I got what the certification say I have. And most of the time, the, uh, the corporation they'll put you in there because they can they can hide you if you if you don't if you're not able to to handle the situation. But in the marketplace, uh, it's nowhere to hide. Uh, they don't the marketplace. That's why these companies don't care if uh, you talking about uh, uh, proving your hours and stuff. They don't care if you don't prove your they don't, they, you're your own business. They don't care if you don't have a, a, a degree. They don't care if you don't have a certification. You're a business. So they're going to give you the work. If you can't do the work, guess what? You can't hide. 
it's gonna it's gonna show. So that's that, that's what the mindset we gotta get to. We gotta get to the point where we say, okay, um, I've gotta be the one who gotta be responsible. I gotta think these things through. I gotta do uh, exactly what I tell uh, what I'm telling you all to do. If I'm telling you all to do one to two calls per day, uh, uh, you need to watch my call. Uh, you need to uh, you need to do one or two calls per day until you get your uh, you you get your skill set up. Once you get your skill set up, then you watch my call. If you wanna uh, if you wanna uh, do more, you can, but don't go do no cash calls until you you have a thorough understanding of what's going on and how to troubleshoot. Because once you go out and start doing cash calls and you gotta start buying parts and all that, you you can't afford to have a bunch of misdiagnostics. The other thing too, uh, when you uh, when you're uh, running out your own business and stuff, uh, you you gotta have delayed gratification. You gotta know the same thing I just told you about the dry vent. You gotta know your limitations. Um, this uh, corporate America, they 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 hold you back a little bit. But what's more, call uh, the marketplace. If you want to go out there and, and do everything, it's gonna let you do it, and it's gonna let it collapse on top of you. Um, there's no the only person that can hold you back in the marketplace is yourself. So um, that's the thing that we're going to, I got to do a better job of getting people acclimated, actually going from employees to employer and actually that delayed gratification. The work ain't going nowhere. Uh, there's plenty of work out here for everybody. Um, so you don't feel like you have to get into this game and start doing everything. Get into the game and get a, a good foundation up under you. Once you get that good foundation up under you, then you can figure out where you want to go afterwards. But it's not like uh, corporate America where you got to go in and get all these certifications and you got to go do all these classes. Nah, get get the foundation up under you. Uh, uh, learn learn how to how to be the business owner, how to be the leader. Then from there you step up and then you can decide where you want to go. Um, same thing. Like some people might do this driving cleaning and say this driving cleaning is all I want to do. Um, and then once they decide that's all they want to do, then they can do go more into it. They can step their game up where they can actually go in and replace dry vents. Um, the guy who I, I thought maybe he would be on tonight, but uh, he wasn't. Hopefully I can get him, hopefully I can get him on. He, he owns a driving cleaning business, but he can tell you the things that he run into. Um, and, and he can tell you the next level, you know, where he actually cut into people walls and stuff and replace dry vents. And he, 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 he goes up under the house and replace them. He does, he does all of that. So, but you starting off, you're not going to do that. You just can do this simple driving cleaning for ninety nine dollars, and then as you get better at it and you get more advanced at it and you get better equipment, you go you start right now. You buy you buy simple residential equ equipment to go out here and do these uh, do these driving cleaning. Um, as you get better at it, you buy more commercial equipment. Uh, you buy equipment where you can actually do uh, uh, HVAC ducts and, uh, and stuff like that. It's a whole another avenue you can go into if you want to keep doing driving cleaning. But I'm just telling you how to get it, how to get into the industry, how to uh, how, how, how to actually get out here, and start making some money, and um, and start your own business. And then from there you scale up. You don't jump in, um, you don't you don't jump in and 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 and, and, and go from from zero to one hundred overnight. You have to get in, learn learn the industry, pay your dues, educate yourself, then move up. Okay, uh, cool beans. Thanks for all the game. You welcome, man. You welcome. Appliance repair journey, Louisville, Kentucky. Okay. Raven Junk Removal Entrepreneur. Hello from sunny Florida. Okay. Yeah, today was uh, sunny and nice here. It was like 80 degrees here in North Carolina. All right. Uh, Space Age 3000. Checking in from Augusta, Georgia. Okay. Greg B., how do you get introduced into the applause field? And did you like a, and did you like it at first or did you grow on it? Did it grow on you? Um, I got introduced when I was in college. Uh, I worked at uh, Sears as a repairman. I done the afternoon shift and I done the weekend shift. I was on call. And uh, it worked out fine as a college student. They gave me a van, so I had a van to drive around. Uh, I done the afternoon shifts. I done the weekend shifts, and I was on call. So uh, at first, uh, you know, they they would give me at Sears. They just give you a van, and you ride with somebody for maybe about two or three days, just so you can uh, back then, so you can learn how to fill out the invoices and stuff like that. Um, but it wasn't no uh, only thing. You had pagers. And you could actually ask the people, can you use their phone to call the next customer? Or if you have a problem to call somebody. When nobody, matter of fact, when nobody called, when nobody answered the pager. And so you was out there on your own. Uh, and after about uh, the first month or so, I figured it out. And I could I could, uh, I could, could be done before 12 o'clock on, on most of the time on, on my routes. And I'd be back home um, and, uh, chilling out. Or, you no, know, I got really good at it. No, I did not like it. Uh, if, 
Um, when I was when I was working at at Sears in college, my friends used to tell me, and um, I should just quit school because all I was going to do is repair appliances. And I said, um, no. Uh, after I graduated, I, I won't go never fix another washing machine again in my life. And uh, and now I love it. I actually love appliance repair. I love the skilled trades uh, because uh, that's another thing too. If, if you learn how to repair appliances, and you uh, and you 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 really learn how to uh to uh you take you you really learn uh this this trade because this trade encompasses everything it encompasses hvac plumbing electrical uh uh a little bit of mechanical it, it it has everything there so once you learn this you can do anything how you think i'm out there fixing those uh fixing my houses and fixing this uh fixing the building that we were getting ready to go into that's me out there i'm not hiring anybody i'm gonna get somebody to do the do the roof uh, that's it. But everything else, I'm out there doing it. And the thing about it, um, I don't even know what I'm doing. <laughs> that's the thing. I don't even know what I'm doing. Uh, but because I know how uh, I, 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 I know how to take things apart and put it back together because of doing appliance repair, you're constantly taking stuff apart, putting it back together. And you have to actually think. That's the hardest thing I get people to know. You have to actually think. And I'm just thinking my way, way through it. And we're figuring it out to the point now. Where if you, you were to come out there, you thought I've been uh, doing it uh, forever. Matter of fact, it's funny. Just because I'm out there fixing stuff, I have people walk by the store, ask me, uh, do I have a construction company? Can I come look at one of their buildings? And I don't even know what I'm doing. I'm just out there figuring it out as I go. Uh, but uh, that's, yeah, that's why I, I love this. Uh, and, and once you learn appliance repair, you'll never be broke. I could I could go do HVAC. I could go do refrigeration. I could go do plumbing. I can go do electrical. I could, I could go do... Uh, any field, I can go do carpentry. I can anything I wanted to do, I can do it. I can go uh, repair. Like I'm bringing the truck in, I don't know how to swap an engine out. I know how to do small repairs because I've been working on all uh, uh, our vehicles over the years. But I don't know how to. Uh, I don't know how to do an LS swap or anything like that. But um, there's YouTube and there's books. Uh, so if other people can do it, I can do it. So I'm uh, I'm gonna pull the engine out and, and do an LS swap. I don't think it'll be that hard. Um, now that I got the equipment and the room and, and place to do it at, I'm, I'm going to do LS swap. Just to show you that uh, if you put your mind to it, you can do anything. What site can I look at standard uniforms like the one you have on? Uh, I, I normally get mine from the embroidery. Um, somebody who does embroidery, you go there to their shop. They, they usually have like a, a, a magazine and they give you a magazine. And um, uh, it, I just take that home. Um, me, I can't pick stuff out, so I take it home. Let my wife pick, <laughs> my wife and daughter pick out what they think uh, we should wear. Uh, so that's what we do. But I, I'm telling you, some of the guys that uh, that's been coming to the appliance boot camp here lately, that's picking out the uniform. Uh, they, uh, some of them, I, I told him uh, one of them, uh, if he's listening from Richmond, um, he what's we call? Uh, he he got he showed me his and his color scheme. He has like this color gray with like some red and, and, and black letters. It, it looked really good. I told him I'm gonna steal that. <laughs> I'm gonna steal that color scheme because it looks so good. But uh yeah, these guys coming down to appliance boot camp, they don't pick out their uniforms, their colors, their logos. They got they got some they got some they got some nice stuff. If you see their stuff that they had this past weekend, people would even the ones who's coming back in their uniforms and stuff, they got some they got nice uniforms and colors. Uh, so uh, I, I am going to, uh, Mars, as you can see, is just real generic. But after looking at theirs, uh, um, I got to step my game up because they got theirs, their color schemes and stuff looking really good. So I'm going to do the same thing. All right. Uh, cool Beans 1203. I ordered the shop back off the link in one of your videos and then small holes came with it. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that's I'm, I'm, I'm going to watch from call. I'm going to put a link in there. I think that wasn't one of my, that might have been one of JT's because mine's, I'm just figuring out how to put links in. <laughs> so, uh, but yeah, we're going to, um, I'm going to make sure you got the right holes and stuff that come with it. Yeah. All that would be in the actual course. June L, must I get a hydraulic lift and steamer for appliance repair? Thank you. At some point in time, you're going to need a hydraulic lift. Um, you're going to run into it, um, but you don't have to have it starting off, but you eventually going to run into a problem where you're going to need a hit lift. You don't have to have that starting off, but your steamer, yes, you need to have that from day one. You're going to use that. Uh, Mika Woods, what's up, Mike, from Houston? Question, I have started to submit info to warranty companies. and wanted to know when will 
when would you negotiate the terms you want? Uh, when they start calling you back, when they start calling you back, um, they're going to send you a form and they're going to ask you how much you charge per hour and stuff like that. And then y'all start negotiation. Appliance repair journey. Has there ever been something that you couldn't fix? I know I don't think it's nothing I can't fix. Uh, and you can too. You can fix anything. You can fix anything. Um, what the, 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 uh, a capacitor is going to operate the same inside of an air conditioner, uh, same way inside of a microwave, same way inside of a computer. A resistor is going to, it's going to operate the same way uh, in, a, in a computer as it would uh, in a microwave. You just know how to test it. And and, and the mechanical stuff, uh, of fixing your cars and all that, ain't nothing hard with that. Most of the time, it's just, uh, it, uh, most of the time, I, I find out with the newer cars and stuff, it's just no room to do anything. It's uh, it's just having the, enough room to get to stuff. They make stuff so it's so tight. But the truck that I'm getting, um, this I could I could climb over into the inside of that. I, you know, I have plenty of room. So that's why I said that one is, is easy. It's you no, know, it's 1953, and uh, it doesn't have any of that electrical stuff. Matter of fact, you know, with the military, they they uh, they stay away from the electrical. They most of their stuff gonna be air driven. Uh, a lot of times they don't want electrical on there. Uh, I think it might be something. With the uh, with people being able to track your vehicles and stuff, so they don't have much elect electronic stuff on there. Uh, they they make their vehicles where uh, most of uh, uh, like your uh, there's no computers in there to get to mess up. They have it uh, mechanical. What if the engine crank you can go? So uh, that's gonna be real easy to work with. Okay, there you go. One of your early drive-in cleaning videos with JT. Yeah, yeah, that that yeah, that was one of the first ones we done. So yeah, uh, that might not have been the uh, the right uh, backing. Um. Uh. Okay, that's somebody talking to me. Okay. Let's see what we got here. Okay. Uh, yeah, I, I well, I, like everybody saying, the video looked good. Okay. Okay, Robert Junk, L and E Apply Services here. Thanks. Okay, how you doing? <laughs> Way to go, uh, eighty nine Doctor Funk. Today I'm officially Mace Appliance Repair Service. There you go, Macy Appliance Repair. Service. Way to go, man! Congratulations, congratulations. Wow, listen to Space Age, Space Age 3000. Vent Cleaning got me a 800 building area project at $90 a pop. Start, oh my God. <laughs> Way to go, $90 a pop. Uh, Starting next Saturday. Way to go, man. Great, great deal, man. That's that's wonderful, man. And you say that's eight, uh, 800 building area? So this, uh, when you say 800, that's 800... Uh, how many units in there? How many units you gonna be doing? Uh, Space Age three thousand. That's that's great. That's great, man. <laughs> there you go. There you go. It's ABC twenty twenty. Here I go. Sell from repair. <laughs> there you go. And that, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna um. We're gonna watch what call. We're gonna uh. We have the uh. Like I say, I'm, I'm hearing I'm hearing from a lot of people, and I'm seeing people who have came here. Um. Uh, like I said, you get you can get caught in the bubble here, and you don't know exactly what everybody is going through. Uh, so I want to make it so everybody can have money. They can they can have some money to flip up where they can come here and get the extra thing. But that's that's good, man. That is wonderful. That is wonderful. And also, uh, um, we're gonna watch the call too. After I get the driving course and uh, and that's going well. Uh, like I said, I I got a guy. That actually uh, came to a couple of appliance, came to maybe, it may have been about two or three appliance repair live events uh, ago, and he's actually flipping appliances. Uh, so, I, like I said, I took him this week to introduce him to uh, someplace, uh, as I call the plug, I introduced him to my plug, <laughs> so he could actually get some dryers. As a matter of fact, I got a, uh, one of my trucks filled up with his stuff. He's supposed to come Saturday and pick it up. But, uh, yeah, uh, I'm going to actually also uh, put in one for flipping too. So I'm going to do a flipping course. I had done one one time before, uh, before I kind of learned how to edit a little bit and it was just all messed up. I was doing it with my cell phone 
and it was just it was just too messed up. So now that we got a good camera and stuff, I'm gonna redo that one, and I'm gonna um, kind of kind of mimic what I've been showing him. And I got a guy that uh, wrote the book on cell phone flipping. Um, he's supposed to be coming doing an interview, so I'm gonna probably put the course out about the same time he comes. That he's gonna have a book that he 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 revising his book. Okay, uh, W Pearson 04. Could you go back to dry vent cleaning course and how much, uh, how, uh, and how much, how it worked? Yeah, the dry vent cleaning course is going to be, uh, it'll be ready on, uh, you go to this, I'm going to put the link in the description again. If you go there and sign up for appliance boot camp online, um, I'm going to drop it Sunday night. It's going to be $225, uh, for that, uh, course. And that course is going to go over how to market. Uh, let me let me get everything that got in the course. You're going to get how to market. How to, uh, you also get a video of me cleaning one. It, you know, uh, uh, some of it's going to be repetitive because uh, we don't put well done maybe three or four videos on it. But I'm going to congregate them all into one place now. Uh, uh, and you're going to get uh, uh, the flyers. You're going to get the bandit signs. You're going to get the email list. You're gonna get uh, how to how to actually go out and uh, and 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 actually cross pollinate with other email listeners. Um, you're gonna get how to charge, and you're gonna get um, how to know your limit. Uh, what if you run into stuff? What not to do? When you know when to back out? Okay. Yeah, hey, not Doctor Funk. Yeah, he he had surgery, but uh, he got the paperwork, so that's good. M Sway. So the clickbait. <laughs> so the clickbait title says driving course. When is it, the H is it? After two weeks of talking about it, I go to this link in no course. It's coming out on a Sunday night. It's two twenty five. <laughs> it's coming out Sunday night. But thank you for uh, for following it. Thank you for following it. And and like I say, I didn't want to. It's not clickbait. Uh, what I want to do, I want to tell you what you're gonna get up front before you go there, and then you click on it. And pay two hundred twenty-five dollars, and then don't uh, then don't have what you think you're gonna have. So I want to make it up front what you're gonna get with the course. So when you go there, I can you can't say that hey, I thought I was gonna get this, or you told me I was gonna get that, and it wasn't in there. I'm telling you what's in there. So that's uh before I release the course, I'm trying to I'm following the same format that we done with appliance bootcamp. Just like before, I go up on the course, uh, I tell you what's going in on it, what's, what how we going in, and the value we're gonna add. So that's why I'm doing it this way. Um, I'm not. I'm just not going to put the course out there. You go buy it, then it's empty. You don't have anything you want. I'm putting out. I'm telling you what's going to be in it. And if you like it, you can purchase it. If not, um, you want to pass on it. That'd be fine. Uh, no, you don't need a license to drive and clean it. No license at all. And that's the businesses that I try to give to you all that you don't have to have licenses to do it. Um, you don't have to have no state, uh, no state, no government uh, funded tests or permission to do it. Um, matter of fact, this past week, um, I had to actually go and uh, take another test. I had to take a test for Arizona, get my Arizona contractor's license. Um, I barely passed it because uh, I got so much going on. I couldn't really study like I normally do study for it. But uh, while I was taking that test, uh, um, I, it's, it's, I, 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 know, I know certain games I can play with the test uh, to, to actually mimic the test. Uh, like, for instance, uh, uh, I know if you get a question wrong, like I know a question, one question popped up. It was, uh, the answer was uh, 30 days, but I click 15 days. And when I click 15 days, I mark it. You know, when you're taking a test, you can mark it like you don't, uh, you don't, you're not quite sure. And, um, I, I, and before I clicked on 15, uh, I waited about a minute or two, like I was trying to make the test think I'm actually looking for something, trying to figure it out. Then I mark it, then I put 15. And guess what? Uh, it come up again. <laughs> and I, I would mark that question and I click 15. I knew 15 was wrong, but I, I knew the right answer. But I know if I do that and I keep marking it and uh, and keep putting the wrong answer, it's going to keep giving me that same question and hoping that I keep getting it wrong, seeing that I'm getting it wrong. So what happened, uh, I done it and I counted. They gave me that same question four times worded four different ways. And then at the, uh, when I get to the end of the test, <laughs> I just go back to the uh, to the ones I got marked, and I just change the answer to what they need to be. So I, I'm, I know I'm guaranteed four right answers. But that's that's the question. That's the stuff you get when you start getting ready to uh, take government licenses and stuff. Just uh, 
it ain't so much of what you know, it's how much they can trick you. Uh, so uh, if you're going to take those tests, you got you got to know how to play those games too. And I kind of figured those games out, uh, taking uh, state 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 authorized tests and whatnot. But uh, no, anything I give you, I don't want to uh, want you to have to get a license because if you have to get a license, not only do I have to teach you the trade and, and, and how to operate the trade, but then you you have to go to somebody and they got to teach you how to take the test to pass the test. You can't pass the test on your own. Uh, no, not for appliance repair. Uh, they, uh, Dragon Queen, you don't have to have a license for appliance repair. Space Age 3000. All you need is respect. Well done. Well done job and clean up the smart. That's, that's it. That's it. Way to go, man. Way to go, Space Age 3000. Uh, Greg B, I was looking around online at some home warranty companies from a customer point of view. I know it's the price the customer has to pay is 85 to 125. So I said, that must be to pay. <laughs> yeah, they pay a lot more than that. And what happens, uh, majority of the people that never even call in, call, what majority of people who got home warranties never call a claim in. Yeah, so yeah, that's the money they use to pay us, no doubt. All right, they talking, they talking. Oh wow, that's man, Jesus, uh, space age. That's that's wonderful, man. He uh, wow, he uh, he got eight hundred uh, apartment projects. So that's that's good, that's good. That that is that is wonderful. That is wonderful at ninety dollars a pop. So he he's another one that's getting uh that uh that uh let's see, getting ready to uh to make that the money. You you the second one that has done that. And he hasn't came to any of the classes. Is that right? What I'm looking at? Wow! At ninety dollars a pop, you 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 get ready to make about uh about eighty grand. Man, how long are you gonna how long are you gonna are you gonna have to do that? Space age. Uh, what's the time frame they give you? That that's that's wonderful, man. That's wonderful. You can really make eighty grand off of that. That's a that's that's that that's that's double what most people make in a year. Just uh, and he he hasn't came to any class. He hasn't uh he hasn't came to uh uh all he's doing he, he hasn't taken anything online that I know of. Uh, and all he's doing is just listening and applying, and and we, I get that from a lot of people who just listen and apply. Okay, Dwayne H. Once you get the uniform, it's money making time. Okay. Okay, Josh can. How well can you do with the driving uh, comparing to appliance repair, which requires? Uh, which requires so much skill. Well, you just see uh, Space Age 3000. Uh, he getting ready to make uh, almost $72,000 <laughs> off of one contract he just got off of dryer vent cleaning. So uh, uh, appliance repair is good. Both, both, both of them are good. Uh, it all depends on what you want to do. Uh, both of them are good. All right. Uh, 89 Dr. Funk. Congrats on the Arizona license, Mike. Is there a reason why you taking tests for different states? Just curious. Yeah. Um, what happens? Uh, you can uh, you can you can you can become what we call license holders. Um, if you got like a HVAC license and, and you got like a plumber's license or you got an electrical license, uh, companies say like for instance Verizon. Um, Verizon, in order for them to be able to uh, go up on the cell phone towers and stuff like that in the different states. They have to have a licensed electrical contractor, uh, a license holder, a qualified individual in that state in order for them to go up there. Um, the, the test to get your licenses, uh, it, it has less than a 2% pass rate. So they, they, the, the states make the licenses test so difficult so everybody can't get them. So if, if they call a, a, a licensed electrician and say, hey, um, uh, you mind uh, uh, becoming the license holder and allow us to put your licenses in, uh, in our business name in Arizona? 
where uh, he gonna say, yeah, how much, how much you gonna pay? Well, we're gonna pay you 35, 40,000. He gonna tell man, you crazy. I can go ahead and make 200,000. Uh, I'm not gonna do that. So what happens, uh, they don't have anybody to actually uh, 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 pass the test. So uh, me, I, if, I, if I know that uh, I have several companies I do it for now, and if they tell me they need a license, a license holder in Arizona, and I watch my call. Uh, I go out there and I take the test, and then I call them up and say, "Hey, I got my license in Arizona. Uh, I, I, I'm not doing anything with them. I'll be a license holder because uh, I'm I'm not going out to Arizona to buy no houses or anything. And the company will pay you thirty, forty thousand um, uh, a year for your uh, to for you to be their license holder, and you can get free insurance. You can say, "Hey, uh, give me thirty thousand and let me get your insurance. Uh, let me get free health insurance." They're, they're more than glad to do that. So uh, that's why I do that. I go out and that, that's one of my other, uh, I call that my consultant work. <laughs> I do that. I call that my consultant work, uh, going out and do consultant work when I go out and I take these tests. And that's, uh, and that's uh, one of the things I use to actually fund my real estate company. I take the money that uh, I use, I get from doing the license holding stuff. All that money goes into funding real estate. <laughs> All right, Memphis on board. Fabulous Life 50. Space Age 3000. I learned driving cleaning from ABC video. There you go. Now I'm going to 2020 class for the applied side. There you go, man. Thanks. Thanks. We, uh, I appreciate that, man. I'm so glad. Okay, Majestics. They were uh they cleaned the vents at my uh apartments yesterday. They were on ladders cleaning the outside vents first. Uh, you can go on eventually a ladder if you want to. Uh, I don't go on the ladders. I just go right behind the dryer. That's how I do it. Uh, as you uh, as you're going to get more into it, and you want to go there and put bird cages up and all that stuff, you can and you uh, and you can upsell just like you go to Jiffy Lube and uh, you go to uh, you, you bring your car in and as soon as you sit down, they come bring you the air filter and they're trying to upsell you. You can do that with dryer vent. Uh, you can go there. If you want to take the ladder and, and go there and clean the outside and, and put another bird cage or something that some birds and stuff can't get in it, you can do that in upsell. But uh, just starting off, if you want to make money, just go right behind the dryer and uh, make your money and go. Yeah, Greg, he hit a lick. <laughs> Josh can. I would kill for that kind of contract. It must be hard to. It's not. It's not. <laughs> it, it's that. Uh, uh, Josh can you can get that. You just haven't went out there and asked for it. You can you can get that contract. You just haven't went out there and asked for it. Dwayne H. Love hearing uh, these success stories. Okay, yeah. Oh, Space Age 3000. I'm a truck driver and tired of it. The apartment projects, they've given me six months. Oh, only uh, only do today say they want me to flag if more. <laughs> Look at that, man. Oh, my God, man. That Space Age, that is wonderful. Uh, JT and I are gonna have to get in contact with you. Um, uh, I'm gonna put the email here. Email me because uh, we're gonna we need we need to talk to you if you don't mind. Because uh, what happened? We have this happens. We have this happen quite a bit. Believe it or not, we have this happen quite a bit. But uh, the people who get it don't want to come on. They don't want to come and share their story. Uh, but uh, email. Uh, send me a, a, a email there. Because we'll, we'll, uh, if you're interested in um, actually um, allowing us to kind of cover you, I would love to do that. Uh, because what happened, we have people, uh, what he's doing, we, we, I get emails and we talk to people who do it all the time, but then we can't get them to get on the camera. A lot of people are doing this stuff, but we can't get them to get on the camera. Okay. All right, uh, M. Sway, is this an electrical license you got in Arizona? Yeah, it's an electrical contractor's license. Uh, yeah, it's an electrical contractor's license. Majestic, cool. Mike T., no offense, Mike, but how do I confirm how the man, <laughs> how the man <laughs> for a flies repair? Uh, do me a favor. Uh, tomorrow morning at 8 o'clock, uh, try to get somebody to come repair your refrigerator and, and, and just, just, just start calling and see uh, how soon somebody can get there <laughs> to come repair your refrigerator. That's, that's all you got to do. Just uh, tomorrow morning, 
just uh, just say you want somebody to come and repair your refrigerator and start trying to call companies. Call Sears and see how long it's going to take, if they're not two months out already. All right, Space Age tell you what he done. I went to the housing authority, asked, and they were just beginning to outsource some work. <laughs> that's all he done is ask. That's all he, that's what I keep telling you all. It's a, it's, it's, a, it's 20 times easier to get a contract than it is to get a job. All he did, he went in there and asked. No, uh, don't have to fill out no, uh, no background check. Don't have to go pee in no cup. <laughs> don't have to have no resume. Don't have to do any of that. Just walked on in and say, hey, I, I'm looking to do work. And they say, okay, we, we're getting ready to give it out. Here you go. Let's let's go. And that's that's what the marketplace does. If you go look at the marketplace, they give it to you, and it's up to you to, to make sure you deliver on that. Hey, now, Dr. There are tons of apartment complexes out there, guys. Hit them up and see. That's all you got to do. Just go out there. They can't do them but tell you no. But they, that's good, man. That's good. Mike Reed, uh, yeah, th that's what I told him. Just call the appliance companies in your area, ask how long the wait is to have a tech come out, and what is the charge. And you, <laughs> yeah, you know, there are a few calls, you know, there are very few calls. So, man, you can't get nobody out here. Kirk's inspiration, big ups on that, JT. There you go. All right, uh, Space Age 3000, are you going to hire? Up? Yeah, man, that man, Space Age, that, that is wonderful, man. That is wonderful. And like I say, we 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 see this and hear this all the time uh, when people come in, uh, uh, and uh, and they they what we call they uh, they had the same success that Space Age had. But uh, a lot of times when people hit those licks, uh, you know, I'll be honest. A lot of times when people hit those licks, they don't they don't put it. They don't want to put it out there. It's kind of like now uh, uh, when you see people hitting the lottery and they show up to go claim the prize, they have on these costumes <laughs> all that. But that's the same thing that's happening now with appliances. Uh, when people uh, uh, come to ABC or before they get here, they don't hit a lick. Uh, they don't want nobody to know they don't hit a lick. Uh, and, um, and the people being in here in the class, uh, when, uh, we get ready to take a picture, and you have people standing to the side. They don't want nobody to know what they're doing. Uh, they say, no, nah, don't put me in the picture. I, I'm stepping over here to the side. Cut me out. All the time we have that in the class. And like I say, uh, they watch the call. They, uh, we have people... Uh, space age that that's good man that is wonderful that is wonderful but uh yeah we, we have that all the time where uh people go in and hit a lick and same thing that's how what you call the uh, the guy who made ten thousand dollars that's how he hit he just he just went out there he just went out there and asked and i think that's might have been what space age got, got got the idea from he just say hey um i'm, I'm going uh I, i'm gonna go try because we told you that guy came and had made ten thousand dollars. <laughs> it came out here to appliance boot camp, and uh, and, and now space age. Then when I hear you really got six got a six month contract. So in six months, he gonna make seventy two thousand dollars in six months. He, he just think about that seventy two thousand dollars in six months. And while he's doing that, and once he get good at it, he can go get another contract. Right? He got six months to get him another to go. He got six months to go catch another whale. And, and, and pull them in. He could he could make a hundred over one hundred fifty thousand dollars next year, uh, just cleaning dryer pants. Okay, Mike Reed. Companies avoid con contracts. Uh, we want our money now. Contracts are begging to be picked up. Go and get them. That's right. <laughs> That's right. Uh, like me, I don't want no, I don't want no third party warranty contracts. I don't. I don't want no contracts. Um, uh, I, 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 I like, I like just doing the little bit of calls we do. I get my cash. Not in thirty minutes. Thirty minutes, I got my money in my pocket. I ain't got to do no paperwork when I get back home. All of that. And so, what happened? Most of most of the companies have been around for a while. They don't want it. And then you, you uh, that's why the uh, the company, the contract companies, are begging people. Uh, look at all the people who sign, who register. They, they come here, register their company on Monday. On Tuesday, uh, they, they want to know when they, when, what's happening, man. People calling me all out the blue. Uh, my wife getting mad because they calling it. I can't work my job because they calling it. People start calling you the next day as soon as you, uh, as soon as you, uh, uh, you register your company. <laughs> M. Sway. 
He said, uh, I would hit up my condos where I stay, but the president manager has always down low hit. Let me tell you something about that. Uh, when you're in business, now that personal stuff goes out. He don't care about that. If you come there with a, uh, you solving a problem problem for him. If you come there and you're going to clean that dryer vent and he know it needs to be clean and he haven't found anybody to do it uh, and you're going to give him a good price, they don't care. Matter of fact, I was at this guy's house. Uh, he had Confederate flags everywhere. Um, he does a lot of stuff for, uh, I, I don't know. I, I don't know. He, he probably is racist. I don't know. Um, um, uh, but he, he's really big into Confederate uh, artifacts and, 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 and doing stuff with Confederacy and stuff. Uh, when he was from call, he, uh, he called me up all the time to, uh, to, to fix his appliances and whatnot. And um, I told him, I said, "Yeah, I'm gonna get, uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get, uh, what's it called? I'm gonna get, uh, I'm gonna get this military vehicle, and uh, I might put it." in. he, 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 he sews like the, the, uh, the, um, the, the stuff people use like for reenactments, the civil wars and stuff like that. And I told him, I said, I was getting a military vehicle, and I was gonna put another tarp on it because the, the tarp was a little worn. And he makes those. And he, he hit me up and said, hey, let's work out a deal. <laughs> if you do this for me, I, I do your talk for you. So it, it doesn't matter. Once you go into business, all that personal stuff goes out the way. You know, it goes out the way. Now it's business. All that personal stuff, that's for, that's for uh, everybody else. When you're, in the, when you're doing business, you don't care nothing about personal stuff. You don't care if you, uh, he hates you or anything. You're getting the job done. <laughs> Josh can. Yeah, you got to do it. There you go. <laughs> Space Age 3000. Mike never lived in the project, but all my friends are from the project. So it's like home to me, no problem. There you go. Yep, good lick, man. Okay. Uh, uh, here you go, Veracity Cash. Mike, I just put four warranty companies on hold due to payment di uh, disputes. Net 30. Sign up with two more warranty companies. Stated appliance repair services are very much in demand. And needed. Yep. And uh, that's, that's what I say, too. It's, it's certain warranty companies. It's, it's some snakes out there. Uh, that's another thing you're going to find out, too, when you're doing business. Uh, just because they got a big company and stuff, they snakes. They are snakes. So that's why people, uh, I tell you, they're charging them to 125 because they that's because they snakes. A lot of them out there are snakes. I don't like choice home warranty. and I'm hearing a lot of stuff coming from select home warranty. So I, um, I tell people to stay away from them. Uh, but, yeah, they snakes. There's a couple of them that I deal with, but majority of them are snakes. And uh, you go there and you you get your money and, and get the experience and then you head on out. Him Sway, uh, Mike, suggestions. On Space Age contract, will you put them on a 30-day invoice or what? Nah, I'm going to put them on a 30-day invoice because uh, he got six months out there. Um, I, I, I would, I would, uh, I would, what you call, I would bill out weekly. Um, so uh, whatever I done for that week, uh, I'll what you call, I'll bill them out. Cause, uh, uh, if it's coming from a housing authority, uh, you can't wait to 30 days. You gonna you need to bill out every week. And that way, uh, it might take them a week or two to get you your money back. But after, after doing that week or two, you have a steady check coming in every, uh, every week. So every week you, you, you invoice them for what you do, uh, pay as you go. Okay. All right, MT. There's a new apartment complex that's just opened nearby where I live for a year or so. Will you drive in clean business be needed there? If they've been there a year or so, uh, they might. Well, most of the time, I like to do two or three years. They they might a year or so. They 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 might not be quite there yet. But well, after about the second or third year, they 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 prime to be picked. All right, that's uh, them talking. Chris G, any help on good answering service out there? Um, I, I've watched my call. I don't use an answering service. I used I, I tried it several times with a virtual assistant, um, but I uh, I was getting too many phone calls and the, the price was going up. They're charging me by the minute. Um, in appliance repair, um, when somebody refrigerator broke, they want to talk to somebody, right? They want to get something scheduled. So if you you if you if you, you watch call, if they call 
and you go to an answering service and you don't pick up, they're going to call the next company. You know, the first person to pick up and get them scheduled and get them a time and a date, they're the ones who are going to get the call. So uh, most of the time, I try to have a live person pick up. And um, now with my customers, because they can schedule right there online, um, my customers have gotten trained. So they on their cell phone or their computer, they just go and see what day I have available and they just schedule themselves. So, uh, th- I, so my customer base is pretty, pretty good. I don't have to really, I don't, I don't have to worry about that too much. Oh man, this is wonderful, man. Um, Space Age 3000, my son and I are going to do this. Uh, he's 16 years. <laughs> it's way enough time. Uh, he's 16 years, six months is way enough time. I brought four, five gallon vacs. Well, I have two already hooked up while we clean the other two bits. Look at that, man. Look at that. Him and his son, man, that started their business. They're going out there and make this money. That That is wonderful, man. That is wonderful. Okay, here go Mike Reed. Uh, he, uh, he he he's doing uh, he's doing virtual assistance in Jamaica with his, with his uh, uh, wife and kids. I have my wife friend answering my calls from Jamaica and her cousin. <laughs> there you go. That's wonderful, man. That's good. Fabulous uh, fifty. Now, I, I do my daughters when they uh, when they out of school during the summer. That's what their job is. Fabulous fifty. I have asked six people if I could clean their drive-ins. <laughs> oh my God! They all said yes. I have uh, no idea how to clean vents. I just watched your videos. I want to see if people would take this. See, look at this. This <laughs> fabulous life fifty. That's six hundred dollars right there. That's he, he just went to ask six people. That's six hundred dollars. If he could clean their dryer vents, they all said yes. He don't even have no idea. So he, all he does is went to ask six people and they made six hundred dollars. That's all he does. Watch my videos and went to ask. Okay, Veracity Cash. Mike, could you share about when other tech companies are taking advantage of customers' deductibles and not performing the work? I've had to go behind a lot of appliance repair because, yeah, yeah, you got you got some some companies uh, that uh, don't have no intention at all on fixing anything. They just want to go because what happens is they, they, they say uh, uh, when they get to the customer house, they get a deductible. It could be anywhere between uh, 65 to $125. They'll walk in and they'll look at the appliance and they'll say, oh, I need to order a part. Um, you need to, uh, the part will be here in two to three days. Can you pay your, I need you to pay your deductible. They pay their deductible and they walk out the door and don't never call the customer back or anything. Then what happened, the warranty company then will send another company out. When you get out there, the customer is mad. You don't get the collected deductible. The warranty company will pay you, but they'll keep using that company. Uh, and uh, then what happened after that? Uh, the uh, uh, the warrant the, the company if that cost that if that company keep doing it, they get to the point where uh, the warranty company will drop them. So when that warranty company drop them, guess what they do? They go to another warranty company. They <laughs> do the same thing. Just keep collecting the deductible. Just think if you go to five or six calls all day, taking sixty five to one hundred twenty five dollars, and don't do anything, you can make a good living doing it. So some some people do that. Unfortunately, um, they're trying to crack that uh, crack down more on it. But then the warranty company is just as bad. They they get you to go out there and fix it, like Veracity Cash said, and they watch because then they won't pay you. So they just as bad as the companies that's doing it. So it, uh, I call it honor amongst thieves. So, uh, so sometimes they get what they deserve. Fabulous Life 50. Oh, you're a female. You can do it. Go ahead and do it, Fabulous Life 50. Go ahead and do it. She's a female. And just went out there and asked. Go do it. Uh, dryer vents is very, yeah, it's very lucrative. <laughs> it's very lucrative. And just like the appliance repair, all of, all of this, uh, all of every, everything that we're talking about uh, in this skilled trade is money to be made in it. If, if y'all knew, if y'all had any idea, any idea how much money HVAC companies make and HVAC technicians make, it will, it will, it will blow your mind. It will blow your mind. If you uh 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 if you if you knew uh how much uh uh a HVAC company makes um it will blow your mind. I'm I'm almost I'm almost I'm almost willing to bet. 
uh, uh, a HVAC company uh, with about three technicians uh, running service calls, and they're doing installs, and they're doing uh, they're doing installs and, and, and swap outs. I'm, I'm willing to bet it ain't much difference between him and a, a, and a what you call and, and some of the football and basketball players. I'm almost willing to bet it ain't much different in the cash flow that's coming in through his company per week. It ain't going to be much difference. It ain't going to be much difference at all. Uh, also, uh, uh, pest control. If y'all knew how much people make to go ahead and kill roaches and stuff. you, you, you if, Let me uh, get a book. If you have not read this book right here, um, let me get it focused in. Uh, it's called The Millionaire Next Door. This is what you need to find out who the real millionaires are. It's not the doctors. It's, it's, it's not, it's not going to be your basketball players. It's not going to be your movie stars. Uh, you read this book right here. Uh, it will tell you right here who the millionaires are. The millionaires are your plumbers, your electricians, your pest control, your garbage collectors. Those are your millionaires that live, that live in your community. And if you read this book, it'll give you a thorough understanding of who the millionaires are. And it's still like that today. Um, this, is, this is how you can tell who the millionaires are. The people uh, that you think are millionaires, they're not millionaires. These are the true millionaires. Uh, um, cool beans. This here is a top ten video. Yeah, and, uh, and, and that, that's the that's the thing too. Um, when I watch them call and I do these videos, um, it might have been um, I think M Sway came in and wondered why why we do this. Um, a, a, a lot of it got it. You uh, uh, me doing the videos and, and doing this. It, it's, it's it's a watch them call. It's, it's a science behind it. Yeah, you just. Uh, uh, you you got uh, you got to build it up. You just can't come out here and just drop it. So okay, I got this course for you. Go get it. You got to build it up a little bit, and then you gotta you gotta drop it. You got you got you got get them you got get them white hot, as they used to say in the wrestling world. You got to get them white hot, and then you put it out here. And uh, I had no idea uh, what uh, what was going on uh, with the people who are doing this. Now the stuff that people have got, but you put it out there, and uh, I, and, and 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 just by sheer luck. People are now starting to talk about it, opening up, say, hey, I'm making money. Uh, I got people who said they, they're going to make, give me some money off of this. Now, people, now I don't have to come out here and sell it. Uh, I don't want to have to sell no $225 course. Uh, what's your call? Uh, 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 Dad, don't it? Fabulous Life 50 and also um, Space Age 3000 that sold a course for me. They, they, they sold the course. I didn't have to come out here and sell it. I just told you what was going to be in it and what you can do with it. They they selling the course. And that's what that's what I want to do. It, it, it's, it, and like uh like Mike Reed said, uh it, this money, this all this stuff is lucrative in the in the skill trade. We just we just haven't uh, we just haven't been told that. We've been told to go out and, and, and get a get a degree. Then after you get that degree, uh you go out here and you uh you what you call. You, you 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 get a job making forty five fifty thousand dollars. Now here it is, um, uh, space age three thousand. Then when I got a seventy seventy two thousand dollar contract, didn't have to spend that one penny on no degree. Uh, the, the the equipment he bought ain't even ain't even five hundred six hundred dollars worth of equipment. And uh, him and his son going out there and and knocking it out. And that's more than that's more than um, uh, most college grads gonna make in a year. He could do it in six months. And the thing about it. With him doing this, if he if he was doing that for a company, he wouldn't bring home no more than forty thousand because the government get half of. It. But he gonna bring that whole. He gonna touch every penny of that money, and if he if he do what's right, the government ain't gonna touch none of it. Uh, Mike T sounds like to me that a lot of bad techs are there. Uh, that's, that's in any field and in 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 any industry, you gonna have good and bad. Uh, no, that's that's gonna be anywhere. Anywhere money is getting changed, you're gonna have you're gonna have you're gonna have some some crookedness going on. Ain't you, you can't you can't you can't uh you can't uh you can't you can't knock that. Okay, they still talking. Ferocity Cash, Mike, due to your appliance boot camp and grinding 
Hey, customer rated my work five stars. Way to go, man. Way to go, Rosley Cash. Way to go. Yeah, yeah, not everybody out there text. See, look at this. Uh, Space Age 3000. I'm also working on our surrounding fire departments. That's my wife's friend, husband, want me to contract with. They never have the vents. There you go. Oh, wow. Here come um, Cool Beans, 1203. I'm actually doing my first dryer vent cleaning this Saturday. See, look at that. These people who, uh, who what's my call, who, uh, who haven't came to anything, just watching the videos, and uh, they, they're knocking it out. Oh, yeah, 89 Dr. Funk, uh, WW, uh, uh, HVAC. Yeah, yeah, he, he. He 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 knocking out five to six and eight thousand dollars on a week on, on a weekend. Not I mean on a Saturday he might knock out five thousand on a Saturday, part time. I I I'm not talking about on one day he'll knock out five thousand. Uh, Mister Mister Salsa Mafia TV, we coming to North Carolina soon, bro. How much is the class? Um, the, uh, right now the class was 850. Uh, we're in the process of renovating the building and, uh, putting a, uh, doing a, um, a whole, doing a, uh, redoing the whole class and everything. Um, we haven't put the price out there yet. Um, but now that I got the building and we actually are, are putting the work in, I'm going to watch, uh, I'm going to actually start to put the, uh, I can start putting the price together. So by the end of November, I, um, um, I'm going to try to, my, my goal is by black Friday to actually, uh, know the price. And uh, we're gonna we're gonna then make the offer uh, right around Black Friday. <laughs> uh, KT, uh, pretty thrill, man. I do electrical work. Make me want to go back to HVAC. It, uh, same thing with electrical. Uh, you can you can knock out electrical too. Um, you can knock out electrical too. It's, it's money to be made in all the skilled trades. It, but like I said, what happened, you're looking at the result of 30 plus years of them telling everybody that if you you work with your hands and you're a skilled trade worker, you're dumb, uh, you're not that smart, uh, everybody need to go to college. And look, there's nobody here that can do it now. And so now it, it's wide open. It, it, it's wide open if you can do it. Yeah, here go. Uh, yeah, eighty nine. Doctor Funk, HVC is king. Yeah, ten to thirty grand in a day selling and installing whole home business. Yeah, yeah, that's what I I, I, I tell people. Um, if you you got HVAC license, you got license to print money. Okay, organic grow life. I referenced that book, Mike. Okay, M Sway. Do you are right? Pest uh, control guys nowadays are busy. <laughs> yeah, because we have so many dirty cities, cultures, and people being compacted in these cities. Yeah, you got bed bugs and all that. Um, matter of fact, in our last boot camp, we had a uh, we had a uh, pest control guy here, and he he he, he, he had done quite well. Had Porsches and everything. <laughs> and he, he, he was just looking to do something a little bit different. <laughs> but yeah, uh, I think he's the one who kind of got a uh, JT into going into. JT going now to uh, stump roaches. June M. I might have to consider doing dryer vent instead of applying for pen. It's all the same. Either way, it's all the same. Uh, just pick whatever you want and whatever you want to do, do it. Like if you talk to Mike Check and um and and, and some of us appliance guys, like Mike Check and them, uh, they ain't got they don't have time to do no dryer vent. Uh, they 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 get, they want to make their money with the appliance, you know, doing the appliance repair. So it's all it's all the same, just depending on which route you want to go and what you like doing the best. It's all the same. Mike Reed, yeah, if you um uh, uh eighty nine Doctor Funk, you can you can transition over into a HVAC. Um, once you um once you get good at refrigerators, you can transition. It's not hard to transition at all. All right, picture man sixty three. Good evening, Mike. Shout out from Austin, Texas. Thanks. Oh yeah! Oh, good. Mike Reed, ice machines—they break all the time. I got a video I got coming out with me at uh, at the attorney's office 
with the ice machine. Yeah, they break all the time. And they got to have them at those restaurants and stuff. Greg B, I went to school to be an electrician about 16 years ago, but I couldn't get where I need to be because of them racist foremen. <laughs> all they had me doing was pulling wire and bending pipe. <laughs> yeah, that's uh, uh, that's what happened when you have to you have to go through a license like that. Uh, you have to you have to actually uh, in order to get a, a trade license like HVAC plumbing or electrical, uh, you have to work for somebody for like five years. Uh, and then after you work for them, they got to sign off and say that you work for them. And then if you can get them to sign off, then they got the uh, then they got the test takers there making sure you don't get it. So they got a bunch of blockers coming in making sure you can't get it. All right, there they go. They talking. Man, there's a lot of people here now. Uh, Space Age 3000. Julian, do uh, both one thing leads to another. That's why I can't. Okay, there you go. Yeah, that, that's why I'm doing the uh, dry vent cleaning, of course, for people who, who needs to who needs to make the money to come down here. So now they won't have, uh, if we're removing all the excuses of anybody saying, I ain't got no money and I can't do this and that. We're showing you you can go out here for less than five hundred dollars. You can be able to start a business and, and you be able to do just like uh Space Age three thousand, uh make seventy two thousand in six months. Uh the great help. What is he fixing for five thousand a week? He installing units, HVAC units. Uh I, I, I um I want to reach out to him because he has an excellent story. He has an excellent story. Um, he, he 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 has an excellent story behind him. Okay, uh, organic grow life. I'm thankful. The pressure calls to be think independently. Uh, we here, baby. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's that's the that's the thing I'm doing. Um, and like uh. Like, uh, one of the things I had to I had to I had to uh, tell my family and friends uh, uh, the last couple of days. I told them I said, "Look, from now until the end of the year, um, um, I, I got to be really focused because I got a lot of stuff I got to do uh, between now and the end of the year. And I might be a little I might be a little distant with you all, and um, and I, it might think that I'm I'm trying to shun you. Well, I'm really I'm not. It's just for the fact that uh, I got to be focused to get what I'm doing." When I'm starting to grind, like I'm grinding now, um, I don't have a lot of time to mess around and play. So a lot of times, some uh, it, it's not what I'm at right now. Some people might think, "Well, you've been a little short with me." It's not I'm being short, but right now I got I got to get you I got to get you to a place, and then I got to get to a place. So uh, a lot of times, um, uh, kind of like uh, when, when when you when you when you get to a point where you uh, you you see uh, uh, a dog get wings. Uh, uh, growing up, my we, we like I said, my family big hunters, and we had a bunch of hunting dogs. Well, the, the mama had puppies, and she would nurse the puppies for a while. But after a while, they get teeth, and they get big enough, they need to start going to the trough and eat like everybody else. Um, but they still want to come back to the mom and nurse. And I remember growing up, you you would see the mama dog kind of growling and, and like she's fighting the dog and going to kill the little puppy, and you'd be afraid. But what she's doing, she's pushing that puppy. To go to the trough like everybody else. Otherwise, that the puppy would try to nurse her forever. Well, sometimes that's what we have to do. Sometimes with technicians, I'm, it's not being harsh on anybody. It's, it's not that you uh, don't want to help people. You do want to help people. But if I let you keep coming to me, coming to me, don't force you to start to think for yourself. Don't force you to do what uh, Space Age Three Thousand. Space Age Three Thousand ain't never contacted me. He he ain't never done anything, <laughs> but looked at the videos and went and got it. Uh, uh, fabulous. Uh, uh, what's we call the young lady? Uh, fabulous life. Uh, she she didn't she didn't question uh, uh, if what I was saying was any. Uh, she didn't never come in and question what I was saying was right or wrong. She said I'm gonna test it. She went out there and just asked six people. They said yeah, let's do it. So she know it works. Uh, that's what you're gonna. I, I got to get you to that point where you trust yourself. Where you just go out there and have the confidence. If you didn't get the confidence that you could do it. And 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 you don't you don't believe you can do it. 
when you walk into that office and you ask to do 800 apartments, they're going to kick you out. They're going to be able to tell you a mile away that you don't know what you're doing. Space Age 3000 ain't never done it before in his life. Go in there. He listened to the videos. He said, I can do this. And when it done it. And that's why I got to get you all to. All right, when, when you come and when you get to a point where I, when I know, a lot of times I know that you have the ability. I know you have the ability. It's just that you just don't trust yourself. You don't have the confidence. In order to get you that confidence, I, sometimes I got to push you a little bit more. Um, it's not that I, 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 I do anything bad to you, but it's because I want you to win. Because I know if I, if I never push you to go out there and to actually do it and do it for yourself, then you won't do it. And if I came here and just sold, uh, and sold you, uh, uh, M. Sway, um, when you were asking about why I just don't put it out here. If I came out here and just so, uh, trying to sell you a product, um, you wouldn't buy it because uh, you know I'm trying to sell it. But if I come out here and just tell you, this is what I'm going to put out here, this is what I'm going to do, and this is what you're going to get, and then I let other people come, just like Appliance Boot Camp, um, uh, after we put it out there, we let it sell itself. We let the results sell itself. So now uh, uh, it's selling itself. Uh, Antonio Anthony Bol uh, Bolton. Hello, Mike. I have a question. I want to rent out a home that my parents will to me, but I'm concerned about the tenants. Should I approach a home health care facility about leasing my home to them? Um, I don't know. Uh, I, uh, why are you concerned about the tenants? Uh, I don't know. Why, why would you be concerned about the tenants? Uh, and I don't know much about your uh, your house. If you go to a home health care, uh, I think then you have to do a lot of stuff uh, you might not have to do if you were just renting to um, uh, ordinary people. You have to have handicapped stuff, and you uh, you got that probably have uh, uh, I don't know if somebody was doing home health care there, or if it's just going to be an uh, office. I don't know. There's, there's too many open questions, too many unanswered questions there. All right, Veracity Cash, Mike. I have to do a background check, a motor vehicle check, and then a warranty company asks for a drug screening. Of course, I <laughs> see, there you go. Here it is. Uh, guy going to ask him for all this mess. And look what he told him. Nah, man, I ain't got time for that. <laughs> uh, man, kind of like with Deion Sanders. Uh, Deion Sanders said uh, uh, when he went to the draft, uh, when he was doing his, uh, when he was going to interview right before he went to the draft. He went to some uh, some team, uh, came to him and gave them gave him a book uh, thicker than this right here, uh, uh, plays and told him say hey uh, I want you to memorize uh, I want you to memorize all these uh, plays uh, and and, and uh, we're gonna test you on it. And Dion asked him and said what pick you have? He said we got the eighth pick. He said I'll be way gone before then. Gave him the book back, <laughs> but that's the same thing with this <laughs> with uh, Veracity Cash. They want you to do all this. He said, man, I, I ain't got time for that. I got 20 people calling, begging me to come. Man, take that. And you find somebody else to do it. <laughs> yeah, and what happened, eventually they realized ain't nobody going to do all that mess. And y'all uh, uh, see uh, uh, some of the interviews that, uh, that go on. Uh, uh, people own their own businesses and stuff. They, uh, 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 they're not going to do no drug screening. Uh, they say, I ain't doing that. I, I, I don't need that. Man, you take that somewhere else. Oh man, yeah, uh, the great help. My DMV record had me kicked off Lyft. Now looking for work. Yeah, that's the good thing with this uh, uh, appliance repair and um, and what you call it. Uh, and we add the driving, cleaning, and cell phone too. Uh, they don't care about your driving record. Now you get tired of paying that high insurance, and you 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 clean your driving record up yourself. But the company don't care how bad it is. You just got to tell you what type of insurance you have. And if they cut your head off buying that insurance a little bit, you 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 slow down or whatever you're doing. But nah, they, they don't care enough about that. If you, you can get all the speeding tickets you want as long as you can pay it. <laughs> and hey, now nah, Dr. Funk say you can't do the roaches. <laughs> all right. But it's a lot of money in that pest control. A lot. I'm gonna read a little bit more, then I'm I'm gonna get out of here. All right, the great help. I'm in Atlanta. Okay, man, in Atlanta, you know how much money you make doing appliance repair and stuff in Atlanta. Man, come on. All right, Nani's baby. Can't wait to see you too, man. 
<laughs> hey, it's Mike Street flipping the scroll. Like, <laughs> I think that might be my ring light when I'm, when I'm flipping the book back and forth. Yeah, thanks, um, Mike Reed. Pre appreciate that. Yeah, I'm, uh, um, I, I, I sent him a couple of emails. He shows up from time to time. So I'm going to catch him at a live feed, and uh, I'm going to go over there, and uh, I'm going to talk to him. I, I'd love to get him on. Okay, Floyd McLendon. Hey, my brother, I got to look at a Samsung dryer that's not heating. Okay, uh, there's plenty of videos on YouTube about Samsung dryers. They're easy to fix. You better fix that easy. Uh, Greg B. Anybody in the chat working that got a criminal record? Yeah. Um, uh, some companies might do a background check. Um, some of them don't. So that, when you go on uh, Greg B. When you go when you when you start a business. Um, your business is its own entity. That means that your business is, is its own person. Your business ain't been to jail. Your business will get its own uh, employee identification, number, which is like a social security number. So what they're going to do, they're just going to make sure that your business has everything they need to protect itself. What happened with you do in the background, they don't, they don't care that much about that. Uh, Floyd McClendon. So I'm just wondering, how do you get some of these retail service jobs because i heard that the retail jobs pay more faster uh doing repairs for appliance yeah if you're doing cod you get paid right then and there but you don't want to do that until you uh you don't want to go to the public until you you, you uh you have your skills up up until then you have to do third-party warranty uh because third-party warranty protects you and the customer you don't want to go straight to uh, doing cod anthony balton Mike, the house already has a ramp on it, and it's handicap accessible because my mom had a wheelchair bound in, in the home health care facility. It's basically a service for people with disability. Um, I don't, you can look into it. Uh, you need to get some. If you don't know how to run numbers, you need to sit down with somebody who who does real estate. Uh, maybe go to a property management company and let them look at them, uh, see what you can get, and let them tell you everything you'd be up against. If you were to rent it that way versus renting it to just uh, regular tenants. Mike, practice. Uh, there you go. Here we go. Um, Space Age 3000. Mike, practice at home. Notice that the screw in may sometimes want to ease off. Problem solved. Gorilla Guru. Uh, each screw in never lose. And uh, insert can be at the hassle to retreat. Yeah, um, best thing to do never put the drill in reverse. Never put your drill in reverse. Always keep your drill going forward. If you put it in reverse, it's going to unscrew. Uh, so never put it in reverse. When you get ready, uh, when you uh, you always keep it going forward, and when you push it back and forth. If you get to if you hit something that's stuck, you push it forward, pull it back with the drill going forward. Never put it in reverse. Um, so that's that's what you need to do. And then you don't have to worry about it unscrewing. If you put it in reverse, it unscrew. Now you got a problem because now you got that uh, you got the they come loose inside the actual dryer vent, and you gotta go, you gotta go then go get it. And so you never put it in reverse. As long as you keep it going forward, you're good. But some people who came to my class, they do that too. They put the gorilla glue, uh, or they put like uh, duct tape on each uh on each end, and that way they don't have to worry about it, it coming loose, and they figure uh, they, they don't have to worry about it uh. Uh, losing the end but if you want to start off doing that you can but if you're going to do 800 of them um after a while you're going to get tired of taking that tape loose off of it but just remember never put your drill in reverse oh, okay double a j w s i'm heading your way i'm texting this message can't wait to see you sir all right can't wait to see you Okay, Veracity Cash. Some warranty companies are requiring appliance repair technicians to submit to background checks, motor vehicles, and drug screens to work for them. Yeah, they're gonna they're gonna run into a hard time. There's a lot of a lot of uh, not like getting new guys to do it. Cause a lot of established companies not gonna do it. Do you know someone I can't connect with? Do you know someone I can't connect with somewhere in Atlanta to do what? Uh, the great help.
Um, Veracity Cat, Son, Son Dryer, Night Heat, Element needs to be changed. Yeah, it could be that. <laughs> cool Beans, 1203. I got Gorilla Cage glue to take just in case. All right. So I, I've been a little longer than I normally go. I try to keep it for one hour, but this was a real good one. Um, like I say, be on the lookout. Go here and actually uh, schedule for Appliance Boot Camp online. Um, you go ahead and schedule. Be on the lookout on Sunday. I'm going to have the drive-in cleaning um, coming up. And like I say, uh, this will be $225. And you just seen in the chat, we got people, uh, got one guy who got uh, 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 a $72,000 uh, deal just by looking at this free content. And, uh, and we got a young lady who, who just who, who, who just went and asked six people and all of them said yes for $600. So, uh, yeah. So uh, 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 go, go, uh, go there, sign up. And once you sign up, it'll be coming out this uh, this Sunday. And uh, then you go out there and make your money. Once again, thank you all. And uh, I'm, I'm glad. And once again, thank you all for tuning in and letting us know that. And uh, and, and let me know that uh, you go, uh, William Curl and passing out the flowers for dryer. Then, sir, would it be good to approach the apartment match? Well, uh, it'll be in the class. Okay. Here goes somebody else, Nora Ingram. Hello, everyone. I have done several vent duct cleaning services just from watching Mike videos. All customers rate me five stars. Look at here. <laughs> I'm trying to go and people people still coming in. And this is the free stuff. This is just the free stuff people listen to, the free stuff, and look at the money and stuff they made. So uh, the, uh, so I'm happy now uh, that I know that the product we're going to put out there is going to be something you all going to make, make money with because it's already making people money. Who uh, just looked at the stuff and went out and applied it. This time I'm taking the stuff that I've put out here and I've combined it and I'm gonna uh, what's it called? Put it all in one uh, one big bundle and you get everything you need. Uh, thank y'all again, the ones that came and showed up and, and told us that they made the money. Uh, I, I appreciate that. I appreciate that. And uh, like I say, look forward to coming in on Sunday. You can go get that for two hundred twenty-five dollars and you'll be ready to go out and make make you some money. Thank you, Nora Ingram. Uh, it said it works. Thanks. 